Court at Memorial High School where Swine Week Assembly just took place. It's kind of the end of a huge week where they're raising money for a charity. This year's charity is the Jimmy Everest Center, helping kids with cancer. Now what's really wonderful about this is that their goal was $275,000. They ended up raising over half a million. Check it out. We've been starting working on this since November. We started with different events, sending out letters all across the community. We've sold piggy, piggy fishers every day at school, brownies, puppy chow. Um, and this week we've had an event every night and assemblies every day leading up to this. Yeah. Oh, I love it. How touching is this for you to know that it's going to help some kiddos out there? I can't even believe it. I, I had no idea this was happening and that all this work pays off a ton. Caleb was diagnosed in June of 05 and he relapsed and then we finished treatment in May of last year. And so we are not quite a year off of treatment and he's in the fifth grade. Good, good. Okay, so you're doing good then, huh? Yeah, it's a struggle to go through having a child with cancer and um, it's just nice to know there are people out there willing to help us. This is extra special for me. This is the high school I graduated from. So this is even extra special for me to see my alma mater do something for kids that I happen to have gone through that road too. Did you participate in Swine Week when you were here? Yes, we did. And um, I have been working and so I haven't been able to participate this week until this assembly, but it's pretty overwhelming to think about them raising over a half a million dollars. That just is um, shocking to me. And I'm here with Dr. Terry Saul, who is a big part of OU Medical Center with the kiddos and the Jimmy Everest Center. So how exciting was this for you? Well, I, I've never seen so much excitement. I mean, it was sort of, if you charted it, it would be off the charts. The enthusiasm and the wild energy is amazing. I bet. Oh my gosh. And they raised over half a million dollars. Was that just, are you floored? Well, I'm floored. I think it was, it's such a huge congratulations to them. I think it was a new record for them. And, and you could tell from that energy, something special would come out of this. Tell us how it's going to help the kiddos at Jimmy Everest. Well, the Jimmy Everest Center does lots for children. So it's the clinical care that'll be better, as well as the ability to teach other young doctors about the disease and research helps the hope that other children in the future will not have to deal with these challenges. So you guys actually met some of the kids that came during the week. So how special was that for you? It was really cool because the past couple of weeks we got to go up there and do art with them and make crafts. That was actually in our auction. And so this year when they came and talked, it was cool because we knew them and they were really excited. Well, the wonderful part of taking care of children is that it really is a community effort. So the energy of being able to put together doctors, patients, community support, all the high school students, that partnership is what makes this very, very special. This is an amazing event. And, and it'll have long-lasting impact on these children.